Dean, of course, that first uh, person that's jumping into the coach wasn't uh, Jesse Sundell, but he jumped into his coach's arms too, didn't he, Jim? Well, I tell you what, you may see him again here. They have Tyler Greaser, a teammate here, out there on the 1A mat at 119. Well, in AAA, Ricky Pence versus Mark Huntsleben. I think I got that right. That's right. Ricky Pence from Cedar Rapids Prairie going up against Mark Huntsleben from Urbandale. And here's the change. Urbandale has a red singlet on here. That's a must be a thing for the finals here. Red singlet. They're usually going the blue, dark blue singlet. Doesn't look bad. Huntsleben, number one ranked wrestler throughout the uh, year oh, in his weight class. Boy, nice job by Ricky Pence putting that weight on him, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was a good job of squaring up his hips. Now he's in a front headlock position here. Notice how they have that ankle here. It almost looks potentially dangerous. So. In our inserts. Nice single leg coming up around the waist here. Puts the leg in here. That's two points. Oh, we got a wild one right here. Look at this. Not yet. Not yet. And two uh, Take out. Okay, that's two for uh, Ricky Pence from Cedar Rapids Prairie. And then as we look at single A up in the top box right from there, now. we get uh, Jeff Harrison from Solon Westwood versus Tyler Greaser from Ogden. Uh, Tyler Greaser from Ogden versus Jeff Harrison, and the score is Harrison 2, Greaser 0, as we have 24 seconds left in the first period. On double A, the box right below it, Adam Kramer from New Hampton, Larry Straw, the coach of the year from New Hampton, going up against Dustin Dutton from South Tama. Dutton undefeated, 43-0, and the score is 5-5 already in the first period with 20 seconds left between these two double A wrestlers, Kramer and Dutton. You're down! Wow, match. But I tell you what, this match here on three, hey. Basically, we're looking at 23 seconds left here. Ricky Pence in the top position. These two athletes met earlier in the Urbandale uh, Invitational, Brad! and I don't think it took very long. I think now. Pence was pinned here by Hunt's Labor. What's pinned? Oh, yes. wow. Brave. And right now, Pence Cover. turning the tables a bit. 2-0 with only 23 seconds left against the guy that pinned him at the Urbandale Championships. And Hunt Slavin also has state tournament finals experience. He was a runner-up last year in the state tournament. Gotta work there. It, it, it has to mean something to have been here before, Jim. Well, I think it does. I think, you know, the preparation, how you go through your warm-up, you've been through it before, you know, that grand march is electrifying. And it's, it's, it's trying to find a way to take that energy and channel it into focusing on techniques out there on the mat. And you were talking, you know, as a little Green. guy, you got to go right back out there and wrestle <laughs> with these 179-pounders. The way to warm up is a real important thing to learn, isn't it? It really is, and I, I felt sorry for them because, you know, they also had to uh, go back there and look at the three-pounders, the 12-pounders, the 19-pounders, the runner-ups and the tiers and, and that, and, and uh, you know, it, it affects you. Well, that's why... Coaches make the big money, you know, they're, they're, get them ready. I don't think they do. <laughs> Not enough, anyway. So, Mark's Laban in the top position here. Pence is doing a great job here in this match. He's got a reversal here, did a good job of getting his hips out. Now he's back in the top position with those legs. Hunt Laban with the roll through. A little headgear problem here going for Pence from the black uniform. We'll see how that affects him. In the 2A match, the bottom box, it's 2-2 with 50 seconds left in the second period. And that's between Adam Kramer from New Hampton Green, and Dustin Dutton from South Tama. We'll nope, get it. Uh, we'll get it. I take that back. It's 6-5. Six to five. It's 6-5 six to five forward, in favor of the South Tama wrestler over Adam Kramer from New Hampton. It's 2-2 two to two at the 1A match with 50 Again. seconds left in the second period between Harrison and Greaser. 58 seconds left here in the third period. There you see West Baum and uh, Aaron Hendrickson here. He used to wrestle for me at Iowa State. Was a national state champion at Clinton High School with Dan Knight. Pence is in the down position here. He gave up a reversal, so Hunt's leaving here. Almost looked like he was going to turn Pence. 
Let's see what he tries in the top position here. This team is as long as, you know, when you got pinned the time before, I guess the tempo of the match is definitely favoring pins. It's it! He's got things slowed down there a bit. Huh? Once they've been dropping in on the an ankle. Improve, man! Improve! Referee asking for improvement. He wants the Hunts Laban to move up. Hunts Laban in the red singlet. Improve. Wants him to move up. Red singlet with the green band. It's the band that counts uh, as far as what, uh, on, on the scoreboard. And the scoreboard says red has four. That is Bricky Pence. He's up four to two, even though he's on the bottom. And he's in the down position. Down. We got 20 seconds left here. They called that potentially dangerous. It's the end of the second period in 2A. The score is six to five in favor of South Tamas Dunton over New Hampton's New Hampton's Damn. Kramer. Cover. attempt here, sit out. Hans Laban has got his ear in the in the uh, hip pocket, so to speak, of uh, Pence. He try to move up here, use the legs. Now he's got a splayed locked up here, with the leg in, trying to use the banana split here. Whoa, That's got a lot of pressure. Whoa, Any more four. seconds than he might have been pinned. Two, yeah, three, was, three, never. Wow, that was awful tight. Amazing. He was splitting him bad. Oh, yeah. That had to hurt. That did. Time. And that takes a yeah. lot of uh, time here. pressure on the groin area. Time yeah. both ways. If you look at the uh, technique here, Huntsleben rolls through to his hips. They notice how he loads him right up on top of his hips. Now he scoots under. Scoots under and gets his We're right done, cheek Eric. on the mat. All and that's what puts off. pressure on Shut Pence. off the green injury time. Shut off Get him off there and gets the two I count with two seconds left in the match. He got the three cap. He got three. Oh, he only got two. Huh? No, he only got two. Still six to five with a minute 24 left in the two-way match. And that's um, New Hampton wrestler uh, Adam Kramer down. And he's on the bottom and he's behind. So some might say he has the advantage. All he has to do is score. But uh, Justin Dutton in two-way there has something to say about it. In 1A, the score is nine to two in favor of Tyler Greaser from Ogden over Jeff Harrison from Solon Westwood with 40 seconds left in the match. And Kramer got that escape here. So that tied it up six to six. You can see him on their feet there. It's all tied up six to six. All you have to do is see who gets Green. the takedown. Third grade. Green down. Bottom right screen. There's the 3A standings and uh, City High has one wrestler in the finals. Decora has two wrestlers in the finals. Right Lewis Central has gone up in the second place, but they don't have anybody yeah. left in the, in the finals, I don't now, believe. Yeah, they've got, yeah they're, they're done. And so Decora, the last two uh, matches, 189 in heavyweight, if they pin both of them and Iowa City loses theirs, they're the state champion. So it's an exciting uh, race there in 3A. Somebody score there in 3A, right here. Yep, one uh, escape here for Huntsleben here, so he's going to go up 5-4. Oh, oh. has, has he not given it yet? Green, neutral! Yep, there he did. That took a while for the official to give it, yeah. Bob, Bob, Bob Aljo, the, uh, the official. Now we'll see if that... Uh, that riding here that Pence did in the early part of the match here does anything to tire Huntsleben out. Now a nice single leg attempt here by Huntsleben. He's driving across, he stays low on the leg, he's reaching across to the far ankle. Now Huntsleben's trying to get off the mat, which is really... You don't want to be heading off the mat because it makes it easier for him to finish, so... We'll go ahead and award the two points and he'll jump out 7-4. Well, I misspoke earlier, those that thought Greaser was ahead, he was not. Jeff Harrison wins from Solon Westwood over Tyler Greaser from Ogden for the championship to remain undefeated. Score 17-2 in favor of Jeff Harrison. Goes to 43-0. Tyler Greaser finishes a very respectable 33-5. Hunts Laban's got the leg in. Now he's working it back. He doesn't want to try to take that back potentially dangerous because he's looking the clock here. It's really counterproductive here to take that arm back. And as we've got the timeout, there's 10 seconds left in the two-way match. No points. It looks like it's going to overtime. Six to six. And it will. 
It's going into overtime between New Hampton and South Cayman. Sudden victory. Two minutes on the feet. And he gets the takedown. Wins. And Mark Hounslaven from Urbandale is ahead 7-4. Call now 7-6 because of a reversal by Ricky Stentz from Cedar Rapids Prairie. Well, it's a nice switch attempt here when Hunt's Levin had the leg in. So he's uh, in the top position. Now Hunt's Levin reaches back. Tries to switch attempt of his own with the leg. Now Hunt's, they're at the Prairie coaching staff looking for an escape. The one to let him up. 24 seconds left. It's 7-6. The referee's been slow to call an escape here. That's certainly yes, an escape. Has. That's an escape. Bob Aljo, uh, little... Gotta hurry up. Well, that's not Bob. Well, who, who is that? That's Tom Moore. That, Tom that. Moore from Grizzle. Is, holding on, is that stalling there when you're holding on to the arm? It's either stalling or an escape. I, now they want him to go ahead and use the international star. See, Huntsleben had the two-on-one, so they're only controlled there by Huntsleben. New Hampton wins another state championship there as far as an individual. And coach of the year, Larry Straw gets his first. And they've got three more to go in the finals. Adam Kramer. Adam Kramer wins it. Beats an undefeated Dustin Dutton from South Dana in overtime. There's an escape. Given. Hans trying to work through the arms. Now he's going to come up. Hans Laban's got control here. They're going to call it right there, so... Mark Huntsleben, 8-6 winner here. That's what it's all about. He's put all of his time in. He's revenged an earlier disappointment last year, runner-up, so he knows what it's like to be on both ends of this. Well, again, exciting, exciting wrestling here as we finish the 119-pound championships in all three classes. Harrison from Westwood, Kramer from New Hampton, and... Huntslaven from Urbandale, state champions. Here to watch this little backflip there. Do you think he's excited? Yeah, here we okay, go. He pushes up, and now let's go to the award he's stand. He's the auditorium. Pounds. Matches before coming into the championship match tonight against Tyler Greaser of Ogden. Jeff Harrison's from Sloan Westwood. Well, Jeff Harrison didn't lose tonight. In fact, he piled up 15 points in the second period and in, the, in that 15-point advantage then scored a technical fall over Tyler Greaser. So Jeff Harrison is your champion at 119 in single A. Dick? All right, Adam Kramer of New Hampton is the champion. Our first overtime match in Class 2A competition as here you see him getting the takedown to win 8-6 to six over Dustin Dunton of South Tama in one of the more exciting matches we've seen so far this evening. 8-6, to six, Kramer of New Hampton, the new state champion at 119. Back to you, Tim. Well, thank you, and that New Hampton win inches them closer to the top spot. Davenport Assumption. Presenting the Class 1A 119-pound awards, Coach Chad Shook of Sloan Westwood. Sixth place, Alex Grunder, Wilton. Fifth place, Brandon Benetham, Woodward Granger. Fourth place, Dana Vogt, Bode, Trin River Valley. Third place, Heath Ropp, Mid Prairie Wellman. Runner up, Tyler Greaser, Ogden. And the Class 1A, 119 pound champion from Sloan Westwood, Jeff Harrison. Un undefeated right there, undefeated. 43 and 0 from Sloan Westwood, Jeff Harrison. Presenting the Class 2A 119-pound awards, Coach Larry Straw of New Hampton. Sixth place, Josh Atwell, Perry. Fifth place, Kirk Artis, Glenwood. Fourth place, Josh Watts, Davenport Assumption. Third place, Dave Dyke, Eddyvale, Blakesburg. Runner-up, Dustin Dunton, Tama, South Tama County. And the Class 2A 119-pound champion from New Hampton, Adam Kramer.
Well, Adam Kramer, his coach, is a great story. Larry Straw had state champion at, uh, at uh, Mount Vernon and had a great program there and then um, goes into private business and, I don't know, 18, 19 years later comes back to New Hampton and he's coach of the year this year. He has a state champion. He's got three more in the finals. Um, thanks, Larry, for coming back to uh, a great sport and um, making it even greater. Presenting the Class 3A 119-pound awards, Coach Wes Bohm of Urbandale. Sixth place, Merlin Weishire, Fairfield. Fifth place, Mike Baker, Cedar Rapids, Jefferson. Fourth place, Aaron Madison, Johnston. Third place, Trent Paulson, Lewis Central Council Bluffs. Runner-up, Ricky Pence, Cedar Rapids Prairie. And the Class 3A 119-pound champion from Urbandale, Mark Hansleben. Let's go to Dean Borg.